All right, so I'm just at a house that has two ducted. That is an underfloor ducted for the ground level. And that is a ducted for the top level. Just a normal, like, ceiling concealed ducted. Um, it's about seven years old. This one, who knows, very old. It's an R22 unit. So basically, um, they're doing some renos upstairs. So we're going to decommission this and put a new one in. And then um, we're going to um basically connect them together like so it's automated and runs off the one wall controller so two completely separate systems but just joining the two so it runs off the same like phone app controller and whatever but yeah that's the one we're replacing just gonna put that on reclaim now and get into it Alright, so I've degassed that, disconnected it. Um, I noticed that on this unit, the back of the coil is covered in dog hair. So just, and this was like full to the brim with water, and the drain was blocked because it was just running 20 mil stuff. So um, I'm just going to quickly give this a coil clean, clean in there. Um, and I'm going to install a bigger drain going across, um, so that one runs good and then, yeah, clean all this up, put the new one in just so at the end of this install, like that's nice and schmick and clean. This one's going to look brand new. And also I don't want this dripping onto the new unit. I want to actually drain away. So I didn't know I was going to be doing that, but whatever. I just want it to be good at the end. Um, anyway, let's keep going. So, this, so basically, these pavers are getting ripped up, I don't know, the early, early next year or late this year. Um, and they're like putting a concrete slab down and then repaving over it. So basically, um, I put that on adjustable galvanized feet. Um, and then what the plan is, is when they lay the slab, we're going to put form work in and just make it a little bit higher. So leaves and that don't get stuck underneath. Um, so, oh, it's more just like if it's raised a bit, water won't flow in there, which takes the leaves in there. But anyway, so that's the plan. So I'll obviously have to come back and decommission it in a couple of months' time. Um, so basically, the reason why I didn't put it on brackets to get it off the ground is because there's a vent there and I didn't want to block it. Um, and all this, I'm going to raise that. So I think, yeah, he wants that tidied up because I don't know just gets there's heaps of like leaves and stuff caught in there so I'm gonna have to redo that and get some like sheet metal duct to put over it to make it a bit more tidy but yeah
right, so that's done. Um, but I'll show you. So that's basically sitting there. Um, and the plan is, honestly, in like two weeks or something, we're doing some renos upstairs. Um, need to add a grill. And this eventually is getting changed, all these pavers. Um, but I just wanted to show you. So basically, um, upsize the drain. So now this unit isn't going to just drop onto that. Um, before it just had 20 mil electrical conduit. Now it has 20 mil actual drain pipe. But what I wanted to show you is this. So basically in that is the cat six cable. So underneath the floor is um, the underfloor ducted. Up there, um, pipes goes up through the roof and up and in. Um, basically, I've run a Cat6 cable connecting the indoor unit for this Daikin down to the indoor unit of the Fujitsu. Um, I couldn't run it down the trunking because you can't run data with next to power cables. And I got like the interconnects of that um, running up the trunking. So yeah, I've run it all separately. Um, Cat6 goes down there. Um, that's gonna go in. What else? Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'll show you what it looks like once it's all like joint. So once again, these are just two totally separate condensing units. Um, but it's going to be controlled from the same wall controller and um, same phone app, which I'll show you. It's pretty cool. I think it's better. I don't know. I just feel like it's a good way to integrate how big houses that have, um, you know, more than one unit without going the VRV. I got to come back because we just reused the original trunking which I cleaned up because this unit's sitting on gal feet now um I didn't realize there's a little section there that I don't have um the, like the cover of the trunking so when I come back which will be probably in like a week or something I'll um I'm just going to bring a, a new face and just have a new face going all the way down um yeah, so that's what's happened. Basically, all we've done is replace this unit um, and just, yeah, gave this one a clean, upsized the drain um, and just integrating it. And I'm going to relocate those so they can do the pavers and then go up across and I'm going to put all trunking or top hat over that. But yeah, this video is just basically to show you how we integrate more than one air conditioner together yeah so that's the bit that i need to cover but i'm just going to get a bit that does the whole length like so there's no joint in it but to, oh, i'm going to be honest i just didn't realize this was originally on brackets um now it's on these feet so it's a bit lower and yeah just totally forgot but i have to come back and add a grill um, in a couple of weeks, so I'm going to just bring a new trunking so that'll be covered all the way down and through isolator unit so that's it okay, so this is what I mean so basically this is just tablet, like just Android tablet, got all the apps and whatever, and we're utilizing the My Place app. So um, I've wired it. So it's got the upstairs ducted and the downstairs one basically on there together. So as so you walk in the front door, it's right there. And um, you got the phone app. And it's, it looks exactly the same on the phone app. And, you know, you can add my lights, my garage, whatever. Um, anyway, so there's the downstairs one, Fujitsu, underfloor ducted. And that's the Daikin we're testing now. Obviously, 
obviously change those names, but yeah, that just gives you an idea of why um, we do this. It's just like instead of having two controllers and then having two apps like the Daken app, the Fujitsu app, whatever, just put it all in one so it's all sort of automated. And then if they want to put um, like other stuff like surveillance or whatever on it, they can do that too. That's it.